When Laura Pratt's partner of six years left her, she was shattered and her life soon began to unravel. As a journalist, Laura decided to expose the subject of heartbreak with a deep dive into her experience. Heartbreak chronicles her journey from grief to gratitude and to perspective and meaning at last. She joins us now to tell us a little more about her new book, Heartbroken. Laura, it's great to have you in the studio. Thank you, it's nice this, to be here. This is a beautiful read. It's oh, hard to read. You. Um, you're very raw, you're very honest um, and filtered and sharing your story. I think a lot of people go through heartbreak in their lives, whether it's the loss of a partner or the loss of a long-term friendship. Um, why did you decide to chronicle what you went through? Well, my the, the things happened in this order for me. My, my heart was broken. And then I went to, uh, I got my MFA in creative nonfiction from the University of King's College in, in Halifax. It's a great program. And I spent the two years there writing this book. And, um, you know, I thought it was a juicy subject. It had happened to me. And I thought, you know, I had this whole truckload of lemons. I might as well do something with it. And that's the product of it. That's the lemonade. You approach this not only from a creative writing standpoint, but also there's so much research that goes into this about the, the healing that comes after that heartbreak, the grief that you went through, but then the reframe that right. happened in the retelling of your own story. Take me through that journey. How do you go from day one to today? Well, I mean, I think that I think that very quickly into this research, the thing that grabbed me the the most was this idea that that we're supposed to be following some path, some prescribed path of recovery. And I think that's dangerous for a lot of people. It, it's a tyranny. It holds you accountable to this idea that if you're not um, following that path, that you're not, uh, you're not healing correctly, you know, you're not recovering. Um, and so I wanted to delve into that and, and used my own experience with heartbreak as the thread through all of, as you said, an awful lot of research. I was, I was surprised to, to realize there, nobody had ever written a book on just the phenomenon of heartbreak and what, what the experience is like. It's the most personal thing we go through, but it's also the most universal thing. Everybody has a heartbreak. Um, so that was sort of the driving force that took me through it, was trying to uncover a way to make people feel okay if they are still heartbroken and they're, they don't feel like they're doing it right. Um, so that was my driver. Grief is weird that way. Grief is weird, it's yeah. It's unpredictable. It hits you when you least expect it. You'll go through times where you're like, I'm okay. And then all of a sudden you realize very quickly you might not be. Yeah, and you know, I, I'm sure you remember uh, that book on death and dying that Dr. Elizabeth Kupler Ross wrote. Um, and, and that was where she she identified and nominated the five stages of of coming to terms with death. And that and that's the, you know, the anger and denial and depression and bargaining, and then eventually acceptance. And that that uh, model was subsequently applied to grief. And um, I think that that made it difficult for a lot of people because they, they, they imagined this dangled acceptance would come to them quickly and easily. And when it didn't, they felt they were doing it wrong. And in fact, Dr. Kubler-Ross eventually recanted that and said she regretted ever setting people up for that um, because grief, everybody does grief their own way. Well, you did grief with a beautiful book. I'm <laughs> thank thankful you. for it. Heartbroken is out now. Laura, thank you so much for thank coming. Thank you in. very much for speaking up with me. It's great to have you. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.